Making headlines this morning, Junction City kids are without a Head Start program today. The Loving Arms Learning Center closed abruptly last May in a federal investigation. KSNT News reporter James Ryan is now live in Junction City with more on why former employees are saying the center closed. Brittany, the sign still says Head Start, but a piece of paper on the door says closed for business. Now this comes after an administration, the Administration for Children and Families in Washington, D.C., conducted a four-day review of the program last February. A report found 17 places where it was failing, particularly surrounding money management and administration. Sherry Milam was a manager at the Head Start and says she reported some of the things she was seeing behind the scenes. I was not comfortable with some of the decisions that were being made. And when I voiced concerns, my concerns weren't being heard. We loved our children and families, and that's one of the points we're trying to get out, is that this community needs Head Start. I talked to a number of people who used to work at the Head Start program, and they say one of the things they want people to know is that it's still a good program, and the problems were not being related to the way children were being taken care of. Now, the managers I talked to say that they're hoping that another administrator will come in and get a grantee-ship and bring the federal program back to Junction City, but they're hesitant to think that that could happen before school starts in August. Live in Junction City, James Ryan, KSNT News. All right, thank you, James, for bringing us the latest on this case. Uh, board chairperson Patricia Hunter tells us they are working to get kids placed in the school district's early education program. However, the employees there and the parents that we talked to say it would be very unlikely that the district will have that much room for that many kids.